Oh, I thought I could hold it. Uh, Dr. Paul, a uh, question. My, my daughter has been ill for many years, and now she's on our insurance, but she graduated from college. Does she have to stand in line at a, at a charity hospital to get help under your administration? Well, you'll probably be standing in line of, uh, under Obamacare, let me tell you. Yeah. At the rate we're going, it's going to be, be difficult. It's been messed up, and that's why I have reserved the final decision on the reform of the medical care for elderly and the children and also Social Security because it's messed up. Because it's messed up, you can't say those of us who want to reform it and get it back to sound footing is at fault because, you know, the money has been spent, the money isn't there for Social Security, Medicaid and Medicare has really no money in, in the bank. So I want to preserve at least what people have become uh, de dependent on. Um, but the, the whole thing is, is uh, uh, the insurance business and the way, the way we have given uh, benefits, uh, tax benefits to insurance over the years has encouraged problems with transferring a policy. But to, under a, a good insurance system, a free market system, if a child or an 18-year-old or whatever buys an insurance policy and pays for it, and, and it doesn't go with the job, you don't have to transfer it. The contract should be there. They should never be able to cancel you. But, to, but then we go into this mess where it goes with the company but not with the individual. If you have individual insurance, you don't get the deduction. If you work for a big company, you do. You transfer your job, then you have to have a new insurance company. That's all artificial. The market has been messed up that way. So because that is more complex, I want to work to that system but in the meantime, the only way we can save the medical care system from total bankruptcy and really ruining the care completely is by cutting spending elsewhere. That's why I think we should all come together with looking at this overseas spending that has nothing to do with our national defense. Cook.